Hi there, yeah, just thought I'd uh, come in the van and explain we've had a, a bit of a complaint going on on site and uh, what happened is we've been digging out this driveway um, up in Blackwood where we're working. It's in a cul-de-sac, so there's not many cars or people in and out of the area. A uh, very quiet street. So the driveway was kind of taken up by all this 17 tonne of spoil ready to go out with a grab wagon. Um, so we had a port on site. Now, the reason we have a port on site is because we don't go uh, weeing around the back of people's houses in gullies and stuff. And, all. and you know, we got a port because it ticks all the boxes. We can use the toilet sensibly. It's not creating any issues for people. But does it? Because it, 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 we've already had one issue on site where somebody said they didn't want the toilet. So you're trying to do your best, didn't you? Well, what's happened is we left the portaloo on site um, and it was on the pavement for one night. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a picture up and you could still get a pram past it. Um, you could still walk past it fairly easily. I'd actually gone round the neighbours' houses, which I do on most jobs, just to say we're starting work next door. There will be a bit of disruption. You know, is that okay? If there's anything you need, please come and see me. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm approachable. We'll do anything we can to help you out. So I've done that, right? And then, so this portaloo was left out day and a half, two days maximum on the edge of the pavement. Um, and, and on top of that as well, which again, I'll show you in the photograph I'm going to put on. Uh, and you know what, I'll put that on now. So you've seen the photograph and there's a little bit of spoil. So we, we on the pavement. So what we did, we asked the grab company to come up here at nine o'clock because we were going to be here at nine o'clock. Grab company tried to do us a favour and they came up here seven o'clock, quarter past seven in the morning, moved the... the uh, 1710 so when we landed on site it was gone and we could carry on brilliant great organization fantastic problem is where they've got their their arm their high ab arm they've dropped a little bit of rubbish on the pavement and i'm talking like minimal minimal nobody's in the street it was there for an hour an hour and a quarter next to the toilet Right, as soon as we've come up on site, we've thought, oh, bloody hell, they've been. Oh, fair enough, okay, fair enough. Oh, there's a little bit of mess on the floor. We've swept it, we've leaf blowed it, and through the whole job, every time a little bit of stone has gone onto the pavement, we've leaf blowed it, we've swept it, we've kept it really, really clean, right? So, customer comes out to me the one morning and says, just, I'm sorry, but we've had a, a letter off uh, Caffili Council to say that uh, people are not happy. Can you read it for me, please? Uh, the letter and basically Caffili Borough Council have given us like a, a warning, the homeowner and us a warning to say that the foot their footpath, which it is their footpath, is not to be used to put store portaloos on and it's not to be used to store boulders on. And that's why they've classified it as as boulders, right? Um so it's like, oh okay, okay, that's a little bit kind of harsh considering we've been knocked the neighbours' doors and we've tried to be feasible and we've tried to sweep up, we've tried everything. We're doing our best. Um, on top of that, the skip company come back and I say to them, is, is everything okay? No, he said. I've been taken in the office by my boss. Um, somebody's phoned up to them and complained about me dropping boulders all over your floor. When I say boulders, it's scalpings. It's no bigger than 30, 40 mil, so that's not a boulder. Um, so he's had a, a telling off and the skip company just said, like, you know, don't worry about it. Just, just you know, just crack on with it. So what is left is is left my customer really, really kind of, well, she's she's conscious. You know, she doesn't want to upset anybody in her neighbourhood. She doesn't want to upset anybody in her street. Um, she could see, she hasn't blamed us. She could see we're trying to do a decent job. Um, and it's obviously somebody just being um, a keyboard warrior, isn't it? Being tippy-tappy um, rather than coming over to me and saying, look, I'm awful sorry. Um, can you explain to me about the portaloo? It's it's on it's on the pavement. I don't like it. Um, have you got lorries coming in the street? Whatever. I would have you know done everything under my power to try and help him and and try and assure him that you know everything was okay. Um, that didn't happen. They went straight to the council, straight to the skip company, dropped everyone in the crap, and this is where we are now. So my customer's had a sleepless night over it. She's been really concerned. So now she's they're talking about us putting all the, the paving materials which would usually go on the pavement temporarily in order for us to put them, lay them on the drive. That's the only way you can really do it on, on most jobs. Um, most people 
where you're working, they just say, fine, you know, if we if it, if it was happening with us, we'd expect the same thing. You're keeping it clean, you're keeping it tidy, you've knocked down a door, you've been really great, carry on. Not Whoever's dead around you, we don't know who they are, um, and it's left a real bad taste in our mouth. So we got to tiptoe now around the whole job to the customer this morning. We've had a bank holiday weekend, so there's been like a, um, a Saturday, a Sunday, and a Monday's gone by. She feels a bit better today. We're trying to appease her. We're trying to do everything we possibly can to say, look, it'll be okay. We'll try everything we can. So we're going to store some of the, the paving on the drive. But quite frankly, some of it is going to have to go on the drive. She phoned Caffili Borough Council to ask them to see if it would be feasible for her to purchase a licence, if one existed, or some kind of uh, certificate um, to be able to put a proportion of the paving on the pavement. They've told her no, strictly no. They've told her it's in a cul-de-sac. No, you're not allowed to put it on a pavement. You're not allowed to block it. So basically, you're not allowed to have your drive. Because if you can't put stuff temporarily on the pavement sensibly without blocking it and creating issues, if we were on a high street or we were in an area where there was an issue, obviously, you know, it'd be a different kettle of fish. But um, this here, honestly, put you in the picture. It's a cul-de-sac. There we are. That's where we're working. So the toilet, as in the photos, was right on the corner there, you could get a pram past, and there was a couple of these, what they're calling boulders, on there. But you can see, it's absolutely, really, really peaceful. There's no one here. Um, I'll show you the other side now, I'll show you what it's like facing the other way. So there we are, it goes round the corner, and then it's a cul-de-sac. It's a block end, you just turn around there and, and come back down here. So. This is where the toilet was here, and it had plenty. It had about that much room there. You get a pram and everything passed, and that's all it was. But just to put you in the picture of um, of what they've complained about. Now we put the toilet up there, look, which is where it was always going to go. It was just a temporary thing while the rope, while the drive, was full of all our stuff. We don't see hardly anybody throughout the day, um, and we may get one person that walks down the street. And I'm not joking. Maybe one person in a day, if not no people that walk past you and there's a pavement right opposite there's one on the right and one on the, on the left and they can just cross the road but no so <sighs> this is what you have to put up with you, you've got the rain to contend with you've got stuff to contend with on site you've got Paul moaning about your schedule you've got this that this, and it's just you know it, it gets on top and you start thinking bloody hell when, when's it all going to stop and then you've got these idiots doing that so yeah I don't want to create a rant about it but it's very very frustrating because uh i don't think there was any need for it if there was need for it and we were blocking off the street and we had wagons and it was mess everywhere and dust and crap and we were creating you know total disrespect and carnage in the street then i could understand it but we just weren't and it's just why do these people why do these people have to do it but there we are i just wanted to get it out there if you're a contractor if you're a builder or whatever you do um, and it's happened to you, leave them in the comments below. If you're a homeowner and it's happened to you, leave them in the comments below. If you're the person with, that would complain about this, leave your comments in, in below. Because I, I know it disrupts people. I'm not stupid. I, I, I know people don't want a portal on the pavement. You know, um, it weren't outside anybody else's house. It was outside the customer's house. But, you know, people in these areas, they don't want a portal left there for any reason or whatever. I get it. But you've got to try and be feasible because the fact is if you want a driveway done or you want building work done and you've got to be a little bit kind of bend the rules a little bit to get your project done, what are you going to do then when you want your project done? Well, you won't be able to have it done, will you? Because you you haven't agreed to it. You're the person that's complained. So you, you've got to be amenable. You've got to be a little bit kind of, you know, conscious towards other people and what they want to do and and trying to de and trying to deal to it and help people out as a community in a neighborhood um so anyway yeah i thought i'd share our problem with you and uh we'll leave it at that um be interesting to what everybody says in the comments below we'll see you on the next one we'll show you what's happening on the job um stay safe um don't upset anybody and uh yeah keep a smile on your face and we'll see you on the next one cheers